Hi friends, today we are going to see a PowerShell command called register object event. So let's go to the PowerShell first. And now what I'm going to do is let's go to the help menu of the PowerShell command register object event. So if you see here the register object event command was used for registering the event subscription. So you can use the events get event subscription command for getting the object events which was subscribed by you using this command register object event. So these are the syntax. The synopsis which is given here, you can have a detailed description about it here. So let's go and execute some of the examples. And now I'm just going to open the online version of the help menu for the command register object event. So if you see here, there's no alias given here, and these are the default syntax and description which is given here, and some of the parameters also are also given here. Let's go directly to the examples. Yeah, if you see here, there are more and more things are given here. And now, let's try to execute some examples. So, I'll just pick the partial window. Yeah. So, I'm just copying this. And I'm just going to assign this variable, this command to this variable. And I'm just going to hit enter here. And the next one. And I'm copying this. And it has executed successfully. And the next register object is. And now. And if you see here, the command has been successfully executed. And this is how you will use the register object event command to successfully implement the command. And since these are the commands which was given in uh, Microsoft, it was executed successfully. And if you want to register an object event in your own manner, you need to create uh, these queries first. So this is nothing, nothing but an object which was created for yourself to write it here. So this is how you will use the register object event command to subscribe to an event. And I think this might be helpful to you to understand more. And and I I know that it was not a very clear because I need to show you yeah, I need to show you a lot about this command too then only you can get to know about in detail about the command which you are executing right now here you see here it was asking for subscription ID it was asking for source identifier so this is how you will do to check out the event identifier that is even subscriber details if you see here it was easy to and I will just detail you more in regarding this command get the event subscriber in my next video and if you also see here the event name which is given here event arrived was a successful executor here so this is how you will just use this command and thank you for watching the video and regarding this command I will tell you more in detail about in my next video.